So shortly after you've applied for Otero, you will be assigned an advisor automatically depending on your answers that you gave in your application. If you are a CTE student, you'll have a specific advisor that is meant for that program. If you are a general student, you're not in TRIO, you're not in any other cohort, then you would become my advisee. Um, and then if you're an athlete, then you get the athletic advisor and so on and so forth with other cohorts. The right major will come to you um, depending on your interests, depending on what you think you're good at. Um, a lot of students won't uh, pick a major right away because you have to find out what you like, find out what is actually a legitimate interest of yours. Your major that you choose immediately right off the bat is not going to be something that you have to be stuck with, but it's of more value to you if you know what you want to do. If you don't know what you want to do, usually um, it takes a while and so don't feel pressured into choosing a concentration immediately. Um, but advisors are always here for you to help you figure that out and guide you along that pathway. And if for some reason you can't choose one, then we also have our general degrees. So we have an Associates of Arts and we have an Associates of Science. So those are pretty much our basic general degree paths that you can choose here at Otero. And they give you a wide variety of classes to choose from so that way you can broaden your knowledge and hopefully that helps you figure out what you're good at and what you like. You will want to contact your advisor whenever you have any questions relating to your courses, your future courses, your career pathways. If you just want to talk to your advisor, then reach out to your advisor ASAP. The moment you get assigned to your advisor, you'll want to reach out to them as soon as possible as well. Advisors send out welcome letters, and so then you will want to read that welcome letter, obviously. Um, and then you'll want to follow up with your advisor or they will reach out to you again. You as a student are allowed to self-register, but it is more convenient and better if you meet with your advisor prior to registering for classes. Uh, the purpose is because they can sit down with you and go over your degree audit with you. They can look at career paths. They can look out future uh, institutions. If you want to go to a four-year degree program, then they will go over what courses you need and what courses will make you the most successful. And then they can also help you choose a major or focus. And so the benefit coming with meeting with your advisor and then registering is exponential as compared to registering yourself. When you first meet with your advisor, you'll go over several different things. Um, primarily, you'll want to look into uh, first your degree path. If you haven't chosen a degree, then your advisor will help you uh, figure out either a general degree path or if you have an interest, then they will help you um, do a degree change to put you in a specific pathway and a concentration. Um, you'll also go over any holds that you have. So these could be immunization holes, they could be missing transcripts. You'll also go over any SAT scores or um, testing scores. That way you can be put into an English or math course depending on your cohort um, or your degree pathway. In some meetings uh, that you first meet with your advisor, you'll also go over class options. So you won't always uh, register immediately on your first meeting with your advisor, but it is a possibility, especially if you have no holds um, and you don't have any academic standing issues or anything along those lines. And so then you can get registered immediately in your first meeting as well. In your student portal, you can access Navigate, and then in Navigate, you can set up appointments with your advisor, with your mentors. Me personally, if you set up an appointment with me or other advisors, sometimes they will go ahead and just write you down in their planners or put you on their calendar. It kind of depends, you just have to work with your advisor on that, but usually and typically you'll want to use Navigate.